In this video, you will learn about the tangent constraint. You will see why this constraint is extremely useful for making circles, arcs, and lines tangent to each other. The tangent constraint can be used between a combination of circles, arcs, and lines. The two selected items will become tangent to each other. And the two selected items may not be in contact with each other. The tangent constraint can be used within the same sketch or between a sketch figure and an edge of a model. There are two different ways to add a tangent constraint. Example 1. While sketching, if you have the constraint inferencing turned on. Or example 2. After the sketch has been placed, select the tangent sketch constraint and select a combination of arcs and or circles, or a line and an arc or circle. Here's a practical example of the tangent sketch constraint being applied to lines and circles. In this video, you learned how the tangent sketch constraint creates tangency between arcs, circles, and lines. Like other sketch constraints, it can be used to make new items tangent to existing items, or existing items to other existing items. In either case, existing items can include sketch figures as well as the edges of 3D objects.